the most constructive thing in television is, of course, the sex and violence. And there's not half enough of this on television. <laughs> oh, well, I think sex is a good thing. I mean, I know that's been said before. I think it's a good thing all over the place. On television, I think it's usually very tastefully done. I've got no... Uh, I don't participate or share in any of the any views that are held by people who think that uh, sex on television is crude or bad or overdone. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't really believe in censorship anyway. And uh, I have three sons myself, and I have a very lovely stepdaughter. Um, and I've never, never seen anything that uh, I wouldn't uh, let them watch, because I always think that as long as the family unit is there, then you can talk about things. I'm an old lady of 70, and it rather amuses me. I mean, it went on in my days just the same. Perhaps we didn't show our bosoms quite so much. It was all there. <laughs> It seems to me that lately you see a lot more bosom, a lot more hands moving up the body, you know. A lot less is left to the imagination. And personally, I would rather use my imagination than see it actually there in front of me on black, in black and white or colour, whatever. If one thing that really amused me, haven't these people who moan about it got a, a switch on their set? Can't they turn it off? If I don't want to see it, I turn it off. Therefore, I pick my programmes. I ain't dominated by it, like I wish when I first had one. I mean, what's the sense in watching something? Why criticise it? Don't watch it. That show they must like it, they won't really want to watch it in the first place. And then they got something to criticise. Um, what I dislike about um, television censorship is that uh, someone like Mary Whitehouse should do it. I think um, someone more modern, someone younger with more modern ideas. The uh, angle that uh, awful sex pictures and uh, violence on, on the screen is vastly exaggerated. Perhaps I don't look at the programmes. I don't recall seeing violence or awful sex pictures in all the television I look at. And I bet we hear this put up by particularly the press, the written press, much more. But again, it's the picture of these isolated things in a sea of perfectly peaceful, very nice things. And I think it's, again, it gets the balance wrong. Do you agree? I do agree. Sex now has become so suggestive as to cause embarrassment to the parents when they have young children uh, in the same room as them, possibly a daughter, as I have myself, who is 18 years of age, presently uh, with a boy, uh, a boyfriend, and very often either the wife or I have to switch the program off. And I think this is a bad influence. I think we can well do without this type of program. Uh, I have a feeling sometimes that when we're watching, perhaps with our own husbands, that they're watching, and perhaps you think, oh gosh, she's got a better bosom than I have. <laughs> maybe really, we're a little jealous of it, you know. However much, perhaps they're enjoying it, and we enjoy it. I think some criticisms about sex and violence are a bit petty, because, I mean, if, you, if you're really annoyed about the violence and the sex on television, you can just turn it off. But, I mean, some people do enjoy watching it, so why other people should sort of get very annoyed when it's on, it's totally pointless, because they don't have to watch it. Mary Whitehouse, I consider, is a dead loss. She would do, she'd put me all against anything and everything by the way it's put over, and I don't feel she's any helpful at all. Well, because I think she's so narrow-minded. I would like to suggest that Mary Whitehouse is the most prurient woman in England. She can see sex or filth or anything in a curtain being drawn or a blind being drawn down. Uh, she has a disgustingly dirty mind. I watched her recently, well, a couple of months ago, on the programme when the Reverend Ellers was discussing um, homosexuality. And uh, she kept, I, I agree with Molly, because she kept trying to lead him on to talk about his private life. And he was, you know, being very, very general and very, very sensible. It was good to listen to. But she was the twisted one who was trying to get him to sort of divulge little secrets. I think she's a twisted woman. I think Mary Whitehouse is a very brave woman and I think that it's a great pity there aren't more like her. Here, here, here. Here. I think she's very forthright and she speaks out about things that other people won't... In fact, this is what people are saying now, there's too much sex on television. And surely that's what she's saying as well. Um, sex, well, sex is sex. Sex is there, it is part of life. I think it's an old cliché, perhaps, but if it's in context, then fine. There's too much sex and violence going on, a lot. 
We don't want to see that, do we? Uh, not at our age, anyhow. Perhaps the youngsters do, but we don't. <coughs> I don't think so, myself. There's surely better programmes than that to be put on today. Because television's been around for years and years. They can plenty of old films that they can put on that would enjoy the people. I think television has been a lot to do with the violence and things we've had here. Not here, but all throughout the world, in fact. I honestly believe it. Because you take it today, when I was, when we were youngsters, a policeman was respected. And, uh, well, we were practically afraid of a policeman, Henry, weren't we? Certainly. But uh, today, they stand in front of a policeman and answer him back, and he can't do nothing about it. We, we'd have a clip across the year when we were kids uh, to answer a policeman back anyway. And we were afraid of him. I don't want them to be afraid of the police, but I want them to show a bit of respect. And I think this me medium of television has spoiled that respect. Well, you can hardly turn the damn thing on for two minutes on a, before somebody gets bumped off or shot or strangled. I think this violence has gone rather, rather, I mean, it's reached saturation point. And I'm sure it has a very adverse effect on the young. I mean, if you've got, well, I've got grandchildren now, you can't leave them alone in the house for a half an hour to watch the telly unless you know what the programme is, for you know where you are. It's, it's, um, if it isn't abortion, it's rape, and if it isn't rape, it's um, the psychiatrist's couch or all three. And I think this, I'm sure this has an effect on them. Must do. The violence isn't portrayed as it should be, as a child thinks just getting shot, the boat falls down, obviously he's going to get up later on and walk away. But if it was followed through to show to the misery that somebody getting shot and actually dies means to the rest of their family and people around them, it just, it just wouldn't make uh, show business. But I think this is what should be done because kids think violence is a game. In the streets these days, I mean, it's quite a common thing now to see uh, someone fighting in the street and this kung fu method of kicking someone in the mouth or something like that, you know. And uh, it would never have come about if it hadn't been shown on television. I don't think anybody really knows about violence. Yeah. We've all got ideas as to whether it has an effect or whether it hasn't. I don't think anybody actually knows. I rather suspect that it does have an effect. And it learns the youngsters. I can see that by the kids up in our street going around with the guns, rat -a -tat -tat, all one at the other. Where have they picked it up? All on television. To me, surely, does Doctor Who seems the most horrific programme that you could ever see. And I have seen children sort of watch it in this way, you know, peeping out where they can. And yet it is a children's program, isn't it? My son wouldn't miss it for the world, but he always has to come and sit on my lap, no, you know, no, no. comfort of mum. But, you know, he wouldn't miss it for the world. But this is one of those things, isn't it? Children like being scared and yes. horrified yes. and, yes. you know. I grew up with it, you know, and I know as a child I, I spent the whole time behind the sofa. There is too much violence, not necessarily on the, the plays and films, but on the newsreels. I know it's a reflection of, of life, but one feels that um, there's more than enough and is it necessary to, to show such scenes in such great detail? I'd actually like to meet someone who says that there should be less sex and violence on television, because I, as yet, have never met anybody who's actually said that or had that opinion. We live in a very violent age and we've got to live up to reality and I, I personally don't think there is too much if enough violence on television. Probably it affects ch those children who have a, an insecure background whose parents maybe uh, are out at work all day and don't provide a, a secure family background. I mean if kids have got to take notice of that well, dash it all, they ain't got to watch Tom and Jerry, because I've never seen a cat with a flat head, Heather. You see, that's the sort of thing I look at. And my kids, they don't take no notice at all, though. I don't know what you're right.